Is achieving a good posture as simple as a nursery rhyme? Let's find out together in the next video. Hi, it's Maria here with the Open Flamenco Project, your online place to learn all about flamenco and Spanish dance. So today we're going to talk about the flamenco posture, the basic position where you want to start when you're practicing flamenco. Basically, I thought it would be a bit of fun <laughs> to compare it to a nursery rhyme. And yeah, I have a one-year-old daughter and we are both obsessed with the nursery rhymes. So, this head, shoulder, knees and toes, I think it's pretty accurate. I would add core to that lyric. Head. You want to keep your head at a straight level with your eyes. Try to avoid the mistake we all do, looking at the floor. So I'm super concentrated, I just look at the floor. This is not making you any good, I promise. Also, try to avoid other uncomfortable positions that won't help you with your balance. If you have a mirror, you can look at yourself straight into your eyes. That will help you to achieve the right level for your head. Shoulders. So, we've all been here. Yeah, I'm like that too. <laughs> so basically, the shoulders should go back and down. That's the important part. Yeah, it's, it really helps to think that you have here something that you really want to show. So it's a way to project with this part of your chest that will help you to achieve the right position. The most common mistake is that when you go with your shoulders back and down, your back is bending like this, okay? So be careful we don't change this part. It's independent your shoulders from your lower back. Core. For me, that's absolutely the most important part of your position. If you can only think of one thing at the very beginning, just think about your core. This is your sensor, this is where your balance will be. So just Think about prioritizing your core. An easy way to engage your core is basically to take a deep breath in. And when you take a breath out, just think about coming with your belly button closer to your spine. Once your core is engaged, you can just breathe in and out without losing this sensation that we worked in before. You keep breathing, your core is engaged. Okay, so let's do it again. I find the position where I engage my core and now I just keep breathing normally because I'm using my ribs to expand my chest as I need. Hips. You want to keep your hips nice and relaxed. So my core is engaged, my hips are moving. Yeah. So I would need that small amount of bouncing side to side of my hips for my footwork, yeah? That will help me to absorb the impact and also to avoid this. This is a very common mistake and is a completely no-no. Knees. My knees are just slightly bent and slightly open. That's it. And toes. 
from a parallel position just think about opening both feet about one finger from each other okay and then you think that your toes are slightly more open so about two fingers in the front let's do a quick recap and put everything together so head looking at the front level shoulders back and down core engaged hips are relaxed and in a normal neutral position not too back not to the front okay knees slightly bent and toes slightly open and now we start practicing ah, remember to breathe Let me give you two tips to master your flamenco position. Tip number one, don't try to do everything perfect in the first day. It won't work, I promise you. You're gonna be building your position, you are all set and you realize, I cannot move, I cannot breathe. Yeah, we've all been there. So my advice is take it bit by bit in small pieces. So, you do one part of, the, of your routine, just focus in your head. And the other part, just focus in your shoulders. Forget about the rest. Yeah, and slowly you will see that everything will be coming together. But be patient with yourself and don't be too hard on yourself either. My second tip is, it's all about the core. I cannot stress this enough. Flamenco could be pretty damaging on your lower back because there's a high impact when you're doing footwork or turns with quiebros. Yeah, it could be really, really damaging for your lower back. So you need a strong core to be able to do all this. What I do is I do Pilates, I do yoga, I do other disciplines that can help me to gain strength in my core and in my whole body, of course. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember that no advice will replace the one from your regular teacher. Please hit like if you enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as Maria Vega Dancer. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!